Good morning, Fowlerville High School. I'm Vince Palermo. I'm Hannah Kubiak. And here are your announcements for today. College for Creative Studies will be in the art room today for a presentation from 11.11 to 12.07, your fourth hour. Please see Mrs. Hesch if you are interested in attending an art school in Detroit. Archery club signups have begun. We are offering two clubs this year before we have team tryouts. We have a beginner club for those who are new to archery that will meet the first two weeks of November. For those who have attended the archery club or been a part of the team in the past, the year we are offer this year we are offering an advanced club. Space is limited for both clubs. More information about both clubs can be found on the flyer in the athletic office or by seeing Mrs. J. Smith at the junior high. Fall cleanup will begin this Sunday, the 25th, from 1 to 5 at Allen's Trailer Park. The Interact Club will be there beautifying yards of the disabled and elderly and need your help. Come by for fall fun and service hours, and don't forget to bring your own rake. If you would like a chance to guest anchor on these announcements, see Ms. Balget in D203 or tell someone in the social media class. The varsity volleyball team played a non-league game against number 6th ranked Chelsea on October 23rd. The girls lost 25 to 17, 25 to 11, and 25 to 12. However, the scores do not show how well they played through the night. The girls played outstanding defense and against all state hitters across the net. Paige Temple had 16 digs, 14 assists, and 9 digs. Bree Ray had 12 digs and 4 points, and Julissa Aldred and 15 digs and 4 points. Aaron Vielbig had 7 kills. Megan Kiefer had 4 kills. The girls hunt with the Bulldogs in the three games and learn some valuable lessons to take into districts. They play Howell next week for another non-league game. The boys cross country team raced a quality. Oh, the boys cross country team raced a quality team performance on the. <laughs> the Gladiators came away with two all-conference honorees as sophomores Chris Davis and senior Clay Boak were awarded second team all-conference honors. The boys complete the 5,000 meter course in an average time of 17.57. <clears throat> Leading the way for the Gladiators was sophomore Chris Davis, placing 7th in a time of 16.54. Senior Clay Boak was 11th with a time of 17.16. Senior Chase East, 21st, 1755. Sophomore Aaron Piper, 35th, 1844. And senior Hunter Sutton, 41st, 1857. Rounded out scoring for Favel. See the list here for more placings. Girls cross, country team completed, girls cross Country Team competed in the CAAC White Cross Country Championship Jamboree on Thursday in Eden Rapids. The Lady Glads finished the season fourth in the league. The Gladiators came away with three all-conference honorees as Emma Rodell placed 11th and Bridget Parker placed 8th to earn second team all-conference honors. Ali Updike placed 3rd to earn a spot on first team all-conference. The results of the CAAC White Championships were as followed. Both Gladiator teams will continue their success as they race into the MHSAA Regional Finals on Friday, October 30th at Uncle John Cider Mill with a chance to qualify for state finals on November 7th. Good luck, guys. Last night, the freshman football finished their season with a win against Waverly by a score of 21 to 12. Scoring touchdowns for the Gladiators were Jeff Nags, Nick Reason, and Andrew McFadden. It was a great team win. The freshman team finished their season with a six to three record. Great job and go Glads. And now we have an announcement from our student section. Good morning, Fowlerville. Okay, so we need to talk about the student section bus. It goes out to Waverly tonight at 5.45 and costs $5 to get on it. That's your admission ticket to the game. Sign up in D203 with Miss Balget. She will also wander through the cafeteria during lunch today. Remember, the theme is superheroes. Dress exactly like that. Um, everyone come out tonight. We're excited for the game, and go Glads! 